Because we're back with, I'm going to make you famous. Okay. You <coughs> make are, me famous. You are country, the country star You're going to give me a name. 2022. <laughs> David. Don, I'm sorry. I, I, I got to do this. David. No, we ain't going to do that. Let's get on with the show. Oh, man. We got to. <laughs> we'll call him Dandy Don since he's Dandy. a Dandy. You know, Country boy. <laughs> That's right. So we are going to be talking about in this first session uh, the Temple Mount. Might be short, might be five minutes, might be two minutes, might be two hours, but the second one might go a little bit longer. Probably will. David? Yes. Just wait. <laughs> I, got some I have no clue. <laughs> the Temple Mount. There's a lot to be said about the Temple Mount. Yep. So if you want to, I, I got some lavender tea. I'm waiting on an open cold coffee back up. Now. Absolutely. It's getting on my nerves. R right? Uh-huh. How long has he been? been Two months. Down. Yeah, my goodness, come on. Two months. Well, he's still having trouble getting a business license. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I know that building is... Looks like they're working on it every day, so they must have needed a lot of work done to it. They're building Jack's faster than he do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure are. And Jack's is going on up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you want to give us... Um... He ain't got the money Jack's has got. Either. No, that's true. <laughs> he knock yours down and start all over. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to give us some lavender, some money for lavender tea... Give him the tea and give me the lavender tea. There you go. Well... <laughs> <laughs> True. Good coffee. True. And once again, called coffee has moved to Aniston. So we're going to be in slide number 615. Enter. PR549. Yep. Don't name me Dandy Don. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I'm going I'm going backwards here. You're going back into Daniel. Well, for <laughs> A refresher for for okay. uh, from last week we talked about about the he well who's the he well prince that shall come prince that shall come but <clears throat> what we'll come up with later on down the road after we get done with part four got some pretty interesting things slapped together and to kind of elaborate a little bit more on that that he might not be the prince that shall come. May not. That shouldn't be capitalized. I don't know. But since he will cause the sacrifice to cease in the midst of the week, the treaty must allow the Jews to rebuild their temple. Now, there's a lot of things that I've been thinking about on this. So here's the... Uh, the Temple Mount right here. You have the Dome of the Rock, Temple Mount, and all these places. Uh, the Armenian Quarter, the Old City, and all that. <laughs> we'll look at them uh, Muslim names there for a minute. Then. Yeah, go ahead. Harim Asharif. Asharif. Now that Moscow bird's hard to pronounce. Oh. Akasa Masuk, how you say that? Where? Al Akasa Moscow. Moscow. Some kind of mosque. Mosque, there you go. There's the Muslim quarter, all the way up to there. Yep. Western Wall Tunnel. Yeah, this. Western Wall. Wailing wall. The Wailing wall. By the way, do y'all know old cities down here? Now, Jewish uh, quarters is over here. So is the east is that which would that be that way towards the Muslim quarters? We got north, south, east, and west. This is the Western Wall. Well, the so Western they're calling it the Western Mount. Wall because it's on the west. That'll be east. That'll be north and south, yeah. east and west. Yes. Well, I do. I, I do know. Uh, before the Six Day War, that Jordan controlled the eastern side of Jerusalem. 
where, where the temple's at. And when Israel beat them and took it over, they still allowed, I think there's like 11 gates that goes up to that mosque. Right, that, yes. That dome. And they, they let them I'm control sure 10, 10 of them. And they got they control one of them, but they keep Israeli security on the other ten. Yeah. Now I know a preacher friend of mine. He went up there to that, that dome of the rock, and uh, somebody made a gesture and kind of lowered their head. And of course, you, they've got uh, uh, the guide was a uh, Muslim. Yes. He thought it's fixed to pray. He jumped all over him. You can't do that. You can't do that. So, you, you uh, nobody's allowed to go up there and pray. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, they both can use it. A, a section of it, I saw a documentary on that, where they <clears throat> both can use it. But there's no prayers that can be done. Yeah. yeah. I, also, I also read that the... The Jews do not want to go up there because they're afraid that they don't know where the holies of holies was in the in the, in the temple, and they're afraid that if they go up there they'll walk on it and, it'll, and it'll, they'll, they'll be cursed. Yes. So there's a lot to be said about that, and some people believe that that is where. Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac. Yeah. Right. And a lot of people say that's where the crosses were at. Right. And they say that's where Muhammad got on his horse yeah. and rode to heaven. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's a rock. There's a rock under that. That's why they call it a rock. <coughs> dome. There's a rock under it. Yep. It went to the. They uh, say it's a rock heaven. that Moses struck and water come out of, too. Like, yeah, well, you know, I, think, I think that you said all creation started from here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot of stuff coming out of there and that's a lot of theology that's what people think there's no way to prove any of it yeah so <clears throat> the way the wailing wall too some people say that was a roman fort yeah. didn't have nothing to do with it and then when you start researching it somebody said that it when it originally was uh, built the temple there, there was a river that flowed close by and through it. Yeah. And it's not there. And they're saying that it's not. Yeah. The rock is not the temple now. Well, I know when Herod when Herod <coughs> built it the the it was on a slope. Mm -hmm. And he built the walls on the slope then up and filled it in to make it level. That's right, yes. So, if he so did that, he really had to stop up a river or water from flowing if he had to do that. Don't really know if that is the place of the temple or not. Maybe, may not be. What do you think, Don? I just man. sat down. I don't even know what to comment about. Don just come in, y'all. Uh, glad to have him here with us. Talking about the Temple Mount. No, he's got oh, a lot okay. to say about it. Yeah. <clears throat> We're talking about, go back to that main picture, Temple Mount. The main there? picture you had up there. Yeah, the whole city. The whole, the whole city. city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I I know what is said. Is that the right place? I do not think so. Uh, but a lot of people don't think that's the exact location. I don't know how much exact location plays into it, though. Yeah. Now, uh, God knows everything, but I'm not an engineer. So. <laughs> that's Nor am I a surveyor. About. They mm -hmm. say yeah. that. This was where Abraham right. went to sacrifice Isaac. It was where Moses struck the rock. That is not it was where Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac. The horse Isaac. rode away. Yeah. There's so many theories out there, mm -hmm. and you don't really know if that's it or not. You know, some people say the Wailing Wall is a Roman fort, not the Wailing Wall. They, they say it's not even part of the temple. If if it does, yeah. does it matter if you are there to pray if you're using that? Does the structure or the original purpose of the structure have anything to do 
with your heart. Okay? You know, that's like saying the church is a building and people come there. No. The church is the people, the building is the place to keep the roof right off of their head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but to the but to the Jews, the, the the temple was where God resided. And that made that special for them. Yeah. They, they took it to God is in this physical place instead of God is everywhere in the physical places for them as a place to go worship Him. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, even many Christians and, and have that problem. Uh, Muslims have that same issue. The facility, they have to, where do they have to focus to? They have to pray to. It's religion turns everything upside down. You know, people are asking about uh, this disaster today. Why did this happen? Because Satan's roaming about seeking whom he may devour. Why are there all these confusions? Because Satan's roaming on earth seeking whom he might devour. How he might take something of God and turn it into something of paganism just to cause problems. And, and then, then sit back and rub it to the hands and giggle about it. Then you God. got the fact that God's word, period. They some people say we don't have God's word. Some people say you only got it if you got the original. Some people say that we got some of it. How are we supposed to know? I say Satan's involved in it, trying to destroy our belief system. Trying to destroy the belief. We got exactly the word. Right. That's what he's trying to say. And How are you going to go by that? Faith. I'm he wants to try to destroy faith. How are you going to place your destiny, your eternal life, on something if you don't know that it is the Word of God? Or if you don't trust that it is the Word of God? So, if I can't trust it, if I don't know, why am I fooling with it? Why am I even going to study it? Why am I going to read it if I don't know? If it's not the Word of God. Yeah. Or if I can't understand that it is the Word of God, what part is the Word of God? Right. Satan's got his hands in it. He's had his hands in it since it originally happened, since it was history in the making. Yep. And all the writings he had been trying to destroy, twist them, and change them up. So now we've got how many copies of the Bible of God's Word? And none of them are like? Many hundreds. <laughs> and come out with new ones every year. Right. But we call them all God's Word. Yeah. Well, here you got the Muslim quarter, the Christian quarter, the yep. Armenian quarter, the Jewish quarter. Insanity, right? Huh? Insanity. Yep. Uh, first of all, you, you can't carve God up like that. And I don't know, that is a political decision yeah. that was made yeah. and God is not a political God. He don't care about your politics. Right. He cares about your love and your worship. He is je not jealous of you. He is jealous for you. That's for Oprah Winfrey who thinks God is jealous of her therefore she must be her own God. He's jealous for you. He's jealous for your love. He's jealous for the Muslim's love and the Jews love, and the Christians love, and Armenians love. He's jealous for all men to love him. Mm -hmm. You can't carve him up and say, well, this is, this is a different God over here, or this is a different God over here. And that's really, that's and man's way to God. That is man's way to God, not God's way to, mm -hmm. for man. Right. Well, it's interesting to, to think about, you all remember uh, G, when Jesus said that not one stone would be uh, taken apart. One every stone would be taken apart. Every stone be taken. Not one stone would be left apart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, did y'all know that maybe I think seventy A.D. the there was a war, and that's when Rome destroyed. Yeah. yeah, they destroyed it. The AD gold, 7. the gold melted, and they had, and the commander said, "Take apart all the bricks and scrape." And scrape the gold out. That's just so interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, you put me. that back into the rock of the dome too. We don't know. 
If it yeah. was totally destroyed, how can that be the Wailing Wall? How can that be the, the foundation of the Absolutely temple? correct. Well, that's... There you go. Modern that's, day standards. Well, so you, you see, they're, they're, they're using the outside wall part of the wall. On the inside yep. was the temple part. Mm -hmm. they're, they're using the outside part as the Wailing Wall. So mm -hmm. the outside part's not really... It's not on the inside of, of the, the, the courtyard and everything. It's all... Well, I, and I, I think I think the reason the reason is because, like I said, uh, until the Six Day War, uh, the Muslims had the inside part. Yeah. So they couldn't go on the inside and do it. So they they had, they had to use the outside part of the wall. Yeah. They couldn't stop them on the outside. <clears throat> you know, just looking at it, the the Dome of the Rock, the current construction. Or the bridge, the first build, and then it was destroyed. Then the second build was on top of the second Jewish temple. When they were building the second Jewish temple, did they build it exactly on top of the first Jewish temple? Mm -hmm. And That's if they so were off by a foot, does that make a difference? Was that when Nehemiah rebuilt it? Was the yeah. second building up? Yeah. yeah. They, they, they say that there's no archaeological right. evidence. Right. Where the first temple, where Solomon built the first temple. Right. right. But the original dome did. So they, they, they built the original dome and then it collapsed in 1015. Mm -hmm. Between seven and nine years later during the construction, it was rebuilt. Well, how was it rebuilt and how could they have rebuilt it with the original materials from Solomon's mm -hmm. temple? Mm -hmm. temple? Mm -hmm. Is that what they're saying? Well, if, you, if they, they think that that was built with original materials on original ground, no. and it was and it could not be, no. listen, that gold and all that stuff has passed from country to country. And, and, and that gold's gone. What are you talking about? <laughs> it, it has moved from hand to hand all over the world. Some of it still exists. It still exists. Matter can't be destroyed. The gold can't be destroyed. It may be in this ring. It's on my finger. Yeah. Some of that. True. Who knows where this gold came from or where that gold went? Yeah. As it was, as emperors and conquerors came through, and <laughs> for goodness sake, we got to, we got to get past the small stuff. Yeah. So the Ezekiel field forty four. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, just get back, get to the real thing. Mm -hmm. Then he brought me back. Oh my goodness. The way of the gate to the outward sanctuary which looketh toward the east, and it was shut. Go ahead. I know you got a lot to say about this. Go ahead. First Take call. as much time as you need. Who, who shut it up? Who shut the door? God shut the door. Who did he use? Hmm? Who did he use? I don't know. Who did he use? He used the Muslims. Okay. Could be. They yeah. bricked it up and put a cemetery on the other side. I, I but that, <laughs> not in during Ezekiel's time. Yeah, well, this, this is a prophecy. I understand that. Yeah. But. Uh, planted a, a bunch of dead, dead bodies there, right? They, th they, they think Jesus won't cross the cemetery to, to, get, to get in from the That's east right. gate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we fixed that problem. <laughs> yep. <coughs> yep, you can't walk in the dead. He did. He can. <laughs> he did. Guess, guess what? When he says, arise. My children, they ain't oh, gonna okay. be dead. Nope. That's Verse right. 10 goes on to say, what well, go ahead, I know, I know you're not death death what? Go ahead. Reverse two for us. He thought. conquered death when he got up and walked well, out of that tomb. <laughs> your head's a little bit in the way, but I'm gonna read it from my version, which is New King James. Read it from your and version. And the Lord said to me, This gate shall be shut. It shall not be opened, and no man shall enter. By it, because the Lord God of Israel has entered by it, therefore it shall be shut. Why was it shut? It was shut because the Lord God of Israel entered by it. Yes. It hadn't always been shut. He yeah. shut the door behind him. Well, where's the... Well, isn't there a, a prophecy where Jesus is supposed to enter the east gate? Didn't he enter the yeah. east gate on the donkey? Yeah, before he was crucified. Yeah, they figured he was coming family. back the same way. Yep, yeah. exactly. Verse so, 3. But, but when, coming when, back. When, when Jesus came through cloud. that door and he entered through, he yeah. shut the door behind him. Yeah. And ain't nobody going to overpower it. Yeah. 
As for the prince, because he is the prince, he may sit in it to eat bread before the Lord. He shall enter by way of the vestibule of the gateway and go out the same way. Now, who is the prince? He's who is this prince? Well, it's Jesus. No, Jesus is the Lord. Well, let's get into it. Well, yeah, let's both. get into it. So, but so, I know, first of all, that the Muslims believe it, the Christians believe it, the Jews believe it, yeah. because if they didn't all believe it, they wouldn't be trying to block that that, that gun pathway. Yep. So <laughs> this is this is interesting. Um, Jesus. Where does that come out of? Go ahead. <laughs> what? What? Now? Yeah. Go ahead. Right. Jesus appeared again when the Messiah comes. Ezekiel forty-four went through what we just read, and the new gate replaces replaces the present one. Uh, let's see. The Ottomans also built a cemetery again, planting a bunch of dead bodies. That's all that say. Let's move on. They, they were they 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 trying to equate Jewish religious tradition to God. Yep. Okay? You can't equate man's rules to the God who created the man. Yeah. God don't follow the Jewish religious law. He don't follow anybody else's law. No. Ottomans can build it. You can put anything you want to that does not stop God. Well, you see, the whole point of it is the Jews, are, the Jews are waiting on the Messiah. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Um, but whoever this is is trying to stop him from coming. Yep, that's, sure what, that's what all, all this, is, all this is. For. It was blocked up, and the graveyard was put there to stop well, the Messiah. Since, from well, since the Muslims don't believe he can be resurrected from the dead, they think he's... He's basically coming, so they're thinking like the Jews. Yeah. He hasn't yeah. showed up yet. Yeah. Yeah, they're looking for a man on a donkey again. <laughs> so so and this, the Sadducees didn't believe in resurrection either. So this right. part. That's sad, you see. Yes, yeah. sad, you see. <laughs> so in this part. Sad, you see. This is the gate Very sad. Very sad. <laughs> through which the Messiah right. will enter Jerusalem, and it is suggested in uh, that uh, Sue men. Suman, Solomon, 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 Solomon. There you go. The me, uh, magnificent sealed off the golden gate to prevent the Messiah from coming, and that's that's where that's where it is right there. Um, so well. And, and all of that graveyard. Yep, all yep. that, all this graveyard. That, that's what we're trying to get to. Mm -hmm. um, and they're, they're already, you know, getting ready to build mm -hmm. another temple. And that's the whole purpose of what, of what they're, of what they're, of what all, of the, all of this is is doing. So they think they can. So build. they can block the Messiah from coming. Isn't that crazy? Well, it is absolutely crazy, but well, they've been saying this for, for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Mm -hmm. They've mm -hmm. been trying to do it over and over, and and every evil-minded person that comes along in a position of power tries to do it a little bit better. I, yeah. I, I got a better idea than that last guy had. Yeah. Well, uh, there was an attempt to build the third temple somewhere between 300 and 400 A.D. But an earthquake destroyed it. Yeah. And then they never tried again. I've seen a documentary on this saying that this was the original spot. None of that even matters. Right, exactly. I don't. <clears throat> I agree with that. Yep. And that actual southeast ridge, you know why that's a southeast ridge? Because of that earthquake. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Nothing can be built there. Mm -hmm. Every time they try to do anything with that, it has an earthquake or falls in. God is not going to let them do anything there until he's ready for his temple. And that river runs through there that we were talking about earlier when they said there was a river that ran under and it's not there on that temple mound. It's down off of the side of the temple mound. Exactly. Yep. So he, so here's some theories. How, how good are we on time, Dave? 
25 minutes. Oh, right here. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, Knock in the head. Huh? Knock in the head. Do it. Oh. <laughs> so here, here are a couple of theories on um, uh, on what we're talking about. If you remember in the last week, and we'll elaborate here on this, that everybody is waiting on something. The Jews are waiting on something. Uh, the Muslims, the Christians, the, Christians, the Mahadi, um, they're all, everybody's looking for some Jews. Something, Jews, yep. For some world leader, maybe they'll make, you know, something with United Nations, a treaty with, of some sort. Um, like, if, if we're talking about, I mean, here's my theory. Is everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Here's my theory. Now, this isn't this isn't nobody speaking for me, no church or anything. This is what this is what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking that this little treaty has already been made, and they used this, this coronavirus as a as a big blow up. And what did it result in? It resulted in a war. I don't know. Um, if you look at this little this little dot right here, this red dot. Like what you were saying, I heard something for that first one where the UN makes a tree. Yeah. And it's already been made. I have heard that it is already been made. And some people take Bible scripture to say that it was not a peace tree that's made. It was improved. Well, it don't have to be the a peace treaty. treaty. was already there. It was improved. It don't have to be a peace treaty. It could be a treaty for anything, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. I used to try to force myself, didn't I, David, that had to be a peace treaty. But that's not necessarily true. It does not say a, a peace treaty. It says a treaty, you know. Treaty is made is. all the time. Yep. So if you see all, all the grain... The and UN the, has the power to make treaties. Yep. You see all this grain, all this grain is Muslim countries, right? Mm -hmm. This red is what? Israel. Israel. This red is Israel. Size of New Hampshire. Israel is, the whole country is the same from Montgomery to Pensacola. The whole country. Yeah. Some Muslim leader will make a treaty with Israel. So either a treaty with the UN or treated with, with Israel, here's here's the thing. You know, in the middle of whatever the treaty is, in the middle of the, of the of what we call the tribulation, this per, whoever it is, I think, I think it's the Catholic Church. Well, that's a whole other yeah, story. That's a whole other story. Whole other story. Doesn't matter. But whoever it is is going to break this treaty. And we'll get into that much later. Right now, I think that this COVID-19 stuff resulted in a war with Ukraine and who, who, who is it? Ukraine Russia, and Russia. 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 Well, that is a war between them. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. That, but in my, that war has been going on for 14 years. Mm -hmm. Right. This is just a so, new invasion in the same war. Yeah. That war started... Yes. Well, he advanced when he went into Crimea. Yep. Right. He, that, it's, it's, this is not a new thing. It's an expanded thing. Yeah. Okay? They all used to be part of Russia, and you want some all back. So right. It's been going on since it was split, at least. Yeah. So, I, I don't think, while, while COVID-19 might have been used as, as a cover-up for some things to get our attention on something else, to get everybody to hide in a corner yep. while they did some things. I don't think that Russia, Ukraine has, I may be wrong, I don't think it has much to do with it because it's... Yeah, I don't think so. However, I do think, well, I do pretty well know that it's going to cause some tribulation that this world has not seen in a long time. It's going to see famine and starvation on a scale of millions. Now, whatever that tribulation may look like. Yeah. Well, because of Russian war. But, but yeah, but it's... It, no formula for babies. Guess, no. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's the wheat, yeah. the food, and guess where the wheat, who the wheat feeds? Go back to your green and your red map. Okay, see all them green places? Mm -hmm. They get food in the matter of wheat from Ukraine. Yep. That's where all that green area gets their food. What do you think them green people are going to do when they ain't got no food this fall and early winter? When millions are starving and dying in the streets. Yeah. They're not I don't I don't think that they're going to be very pleasant folk. Yeah. So what you're saying is it's all leading up to a climax. There, there, there's a climax coming. I don't know how big of a climax in this world this is compared to God, mm -hmm. but there's going to be some serious repercussions for a lot of things. And you talk about COVID-19. This is the first time the entire world has ever been shut down. Yeah, that's right. got to mean something. It's got to mean something. It does. Here's the other thing. Something. At the same time that. We're losing 70% of the entire world's wheat supply. Yeah. We're also, because of climate change, using over 40% of the corn crop to make fuel that we won't dig up out of the ground. We want to make ethanol. That's right. Yeah. So, it's all playing at first, I said, well, bread, you know, listen, y'all look at me. I did, I like bread. But I really love cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? You don't get it. <laughs> there ain't gonna be much bread. And they use most of the cornbread corn up to, to, to make fuel. Yeah. We got a problem. It all plays in. It all plays in. Well, tell me. You, you need to look at some of these events. Y'all have noticed how your electric stuff starting to take over in the small areas like your weed eaters and lawn mowers and stuff. Well, one of these days, that's all it's going to be. You, you ain't going to be able to buy gas for lawn mowers because they ain't going to make no lawn mowers that run on gas anymore. Yeah. Cars or anything else. So you still got to have fossil They're fuel sneaking to, it in on us. To make, uh, generate the electricity. They're sneaking still it in on us. You got to have fossil fuel for that. That's right. They did the radio tire the same way. Yeah. They yeah. snuck it in on us. I, I was there. Coral tobacco companies. Don't let the government get mad at you. And, uh, you know, there are <laughs> limitations on this big transition. I don't want to get too far into it. The big limitation on this big transition from fossil fuel to electricity is the storage capacity of batteries and the hazards of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco does not have any electric buses right now. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, because they have three of them exploded the batteries are sitting on top of it. it exploded took the top of the bus off pretty much caught it on fire Damn. and uh, so they had to shut the that entire fleet down hmm. those batteries are has those materials has those waste all batteries are even better, a little better burn fuel than the and little batteries you put in the and all they are batteries. is storage for, for energy that is produced from another source yeah yeah Look on you, your fire bill. You pay for the gas on the bottom fire you use it to get your electricity to you. Yep. Yes. So, I think we have to look at this from a bigger perspective uh, because some of these events, I think if we can open our eyes and recognize what's going on, I think we might see a little bit better. I think we might. It's hard because, see, right now we're wanting to get political and we're wanting to go against the electric energy and that kind of stuff because mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're of an age we like the fossil fuel. Okay? And there's a lot of arguments about it. But what does prophecy say is going to happen to? Uh, world powers and the ability to do these things, some of the things that are going to happen if we transition too quickly, if we do it wrong. Yeah. There's things that are going to happen and there are, there are spike events 
that trigger actions that are spoken of yep. in prophecy. You got anything, David? Yeah, I did a little, picked up a few stuff today on the Temple Mount. Uh, the terminology, it says, the concept of the Temple Mount gained prominence in the first century CE after the de destruction of uh, the second temple. Although the term Temple Mount was first used in the book of Micah 401, literally as Mount of the House, it was not used again until approximately 1,000 years later. The term was not used in the New Testament. The term was used in the text in the Talmud's Tractate Medi, in which the area was described in detail. The term was used frequently in the Talmudic text thereafter. So the term Temple Mount ain't about a thousand years old. I don't have time to read this right now. I will read this for next week. There was a document written in 2010 by John Hopkins at John Hopkins. Visions of Apocalypse what Jews, Christians, and Muslims believe about the end times and how those beliefs affect our world. It's 126 or so pages. A lot of that's going to be reference. Many, many pages of references. Probably about 110 pages of reading. Uh, Deep research. Yeah. But there was a lot of research done, and there's a lot more research on biblical prophecy and world powers. Uh, but I think we have to be careful about looking at the press. As I go researching, looking at this, the Washington Post has got their take on it. Mm -hmm. Don't don't listen to the media. The media is propaganda. But you go into open Bible, what does the Bible say about energy? Okay. What does it mean when it says we will run and not grow weary? What does it mean when we will run and not faint? Open heaven. Okay. But there, there, there are references to energy in biblical prophecy if you can understand what they're talking about. It may not be what we traditionally think. And then we have to look at the fact that this was written in Greek and Hebrew and Latin. And it was translated into English yeah. where all the words in Latin and their meaning in Latin accurately translated. And then do our brains accurately take that and understand the meaning? Uh, some of the stuff Jesus said will confound people. They don't understand. Not only that, Don, all that's been translated into German and French and yeah. Spanish. Exactly. And every other language out there. And these days, there's a hundred different versions in all those countries yes. of what it means. Right. And if you take that original word, what did that original word mean? And it may or may not be understood in this day and age. Uh, you, you, you look at some of the places. I just go back to the Exodus. And as they came across uh, and certain events occurred, they built altars. And they said, and, 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 and Moses named this this. Well, if you don't understand, it's just a name. If you, But those names are not like, your name is David. Names mean something. But especially back then, yep. names meant yeah, something. Meant something. People now pick out names based off of yep. does it rhyme well. Yeah. But in many countries, and especially in the history, historical, names are very important and they have actual true meaning. Mm -hmm. This is where a certain person sacrificed or died or where, 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 where we overcame 
and, and they have meanings for that. You don't understand it. Just have knowledge of the Word of God does not mean you have understanding of God. Yeah, you never will. His ways are far above our ways. His understanding and knowledge is way above ours. And it goes back to one fact. Do you believe Jesus was the Son of God and has the power to save your soul? Yeah. I don't... I, like I, I, I said I, before, when you start looking at the Bible, there's only one right and one wrong. Yes. We're wrong. Jesus is right. Yeah. That's all you get out of it. And it, it, I love to understand this stuff. I'm not going to oh, yeah. understand it. I, I love, love studying God's Word. Try to understand it. <laughs> but honestly, I really don't care. Yeah. I ain't going to be there. Yeah. If I am there because I've got the timeline backwards or wrong, I, I still don't care. Yeah. Because I, I know mean, my you ultimate. Say, you know, yeah. I know my ultimate home. Yeah, absolutely. With Christ. That's what I'm saying. And we, we, I don't we care if it's so in the before, or the middle, or after. When when he says, come here, get out of the way. Because I'm going there. I don't care what it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> I think we really have to understand that we can't get too wrapped around the actual on current events, on trying, to, trying our best to fit current events into prophecy. Because when we do that, you can force a, a square peg into a round hole if you got a big enough hammer. Yeah. It's like we talked about before. You can't name those countries that's supposed to be the power during the seven year tribulation because those countries may not even exist by then. Exactly. Right. You can't say that the third world war is the end of it. There may be 15 more world wars. Yeah. And anytime you got a world war, countries fall, yeah. countries are built. Yeah. So it, you can't do that. Yep. Did the Those United Spoils. States of America ever exist historically before our our what was our civil war against England, our war of independence? It didn't exist. It became in, into existence one day. If you try to find the United States of America into biblical prophecy. Uh, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can In all look, kinds of ways. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the name of the country is. You look at the role they play. Yeah. At the... Yeah. It's, it's what's happening. It, Not so much what countries, it's what's happening. What's Israel's happening. invaded from north. Yeah. And you, it, it doesn't matter Don't think that the United States can't be, can't fall. Yes. Don't think that we can't be taken note. Guess what? That country that is currently Russia, mm -hmm. before it was Russia, it was something yeah, else. It was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and before it was that, it was something uh -huh. else. Yeah. Okay, so I think we need to be careful as we try to apply countries, people. People say Putin's the Antichrist. Putin ain't no Antichrist. He ain't that smart. Okay. He's really, really not that smart. He's a bad guy, I think. Yeah. But there's a lot of bad He's guys. He's a bad guy according to American standards. According to American He's standards. According guy. to Russian standards. Yeah. He's he pretty cool dude. Yeah. yeah. They found a weak president to pick on. Because <laughs> and according to Russian standards, if I don't like it and I speak out and he shoots me. Uh -huh. Then he's a good guy because uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. he's still alive. Uh, Hitler, <laughs> but he, according to Hitler, anyway. according to Germany, the one that and was, you can fly that to the Temple Mount, play everything we just said because there's exactly. no way of knowing if that is mm -hmm. actually where the temple was built at. I mean, what does it matter? And and it exactly, it does it really matter exactly where? Does it matter? God doesn't if have a temple people. on the earth. He has a temple in the person. Yep. So what mm -hmm. does it matter if that's a Temple Mount? No. Guess what I'm going to know where well, the that's, Temple that's, Mount that's is. That's based, that's because the Jews don't believe that we when are the Temple of God. Yeah. They yeah. don't. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. They got to have something physical. Yeah. yeah. But see. <clears throat> and we have to have physical stuff when, sometimes. When the too. New Jerusalem comes person. down and sits on that spot, I'm going to be able to look over and say, that's it right there. Yeah, and, and do you know where I think that is? Where? Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end up yeah, right, right here. How go Lulu, baby? There you got something to say. Yeah, this, uh, please. Yes. this is a Jewish text. Uh, predict that the amount will be 
the site of a third and final temple, which will be rebuilt with the coming of uh, the Messiah. It says a number of vocal Jewish groups now advocate building the third holy temple without delay in order to bring to pass God's end time prophetic plans for Israel and the entire world. So everybody's waiting on something. Well, it's, well, they're not waiting on no, they're not waiting on no treaty. Uh -uh. They're waiting on the side come to get that temple built. Uh -huh. There we go. And we'll get into that. Let's cut it off for now. Later on this, in this series, we'll be back. We'll be back. How how long was that, David? I gotta have some more of that coffee if you got it. Yeah, they might be a little slippery. Forty-five minutes. Listen, here's, 